Yo, it's good YouTube, it is your boy Flyer69 coming to you guys today with episode 23 of the Chicago Blackhawks franchise mode. In this episode, we are starting season 6 of the Chicago Blackhawks franchise mode and this is the biggest season we have yet. Obviously, each, se obviously each season is the biggest, but this one, a little different. A little, It's a little different around here in Chicago. But what do you mean by it's a little different? Look at these goddamn lines. We finally don't have the minus two on the, like, the bottom six. We actually have really good chemistry. We have a coach that really fits the team. Offensively, we're going to be insane this year. Last season, we ended off very good. But just look at this first line. We have Ovi, Missa, Besser, plus three. We're hoping the chemistry is going to help out a little bit. We're going to hope. We've... Yeah, we're hoping. We're hoping it helps out. Or, I mean, just look at these lines. Reichel, Gauthier, Thomas, top six. I'm on the second line. I mean, this top six is just absolutely beautiful. Third line, you got Pavel Saprikin, you got Colby Barlow, and Jesse Pugliarvi. Fourth line, you got the veteran Jamie Benn, Jonathan Taze, and Marco Casper. Defensively, Lindgren Vlasic, Rainer Hulse, and rookie Michael Began. And then you got Nico McCola and Ian Mitchell. I guess that Six defensemen, which would be in in Mitchell, we could, I would say, replace and get a good replacement for, it and we could improve on that. But defensively, we might have a little bit of problems still. However, goaltending, Vinny is making his NHL debut this season with Veggie, and right now the goal is well, not NHL debut. What am I talking about? He played last season, but his first full-time season, which it'll be his rookie season, so it'll be his rookie season. However, we must make playoffs this season. That is the mission. That is the goal. I said this last episode. We are going to make playoffs. I'm I'm calling it now. We are going to make the playoffs. And we're going to. I, I'm confident. I am so goddamn confident that we're going to make playoffs. And if we don't, I, I'm still trying to think of a forfeit. I know I said this oh, maybe last episode or the episode before. I don't know. But... I'm, I'm going to think of a forfeit if we don't make playoffs, but we ain't going to have to worry about it because we're going to make the damn playoffs because this team looks absolutely fantastic. We are we have so many good young talent, good young rookies playing this year. I mean, the kids are playing this year. I mean, it's really, you're finally seeing that prospect pool really starting to flourish and they're starting to come up into their own, ready to play in the NHL. And we have so many good pieces right now. I'm really looking forward to how this season's going to go. So let's, let me start. Shut the fuck up, and let's start the simming. Let's, I don't want to waste no more time. Let's sim straight to November 7th against the Islanders. We're going to split up this season into two halves so far as we're looking at it. We're going to sim all the way up to the All-Star break, and then next episode will be the second half of the season. So instead of how he chopped it up last season in, in the third, it will be just a half. So the first half, second half. So we sim the All-Star break, and after that, Next episode will be the second half of the season and we're done. And then if we make playoffs, which I'm hoping we are because I, I think we will, then we do playoffs. Playoffs, I don't know how that's going to work yet. I think we're just going to do a, a series, an episode maybe. Maybe. I don't know how that's going to work yet. If We'll figure it out when we get there. Simple as that. We'll just figure it out when we get there. We just got one mission in mind right now. And that's to make the fucking playoffs. And we're already 2-0 to start the year, but that don't mean nothing. We can start out hot and then completely have shit hit the fan. I mean, I've seen it happen before. We're starting off 3-0 and as we lose to the Sharks there. So now we are 3-1. and Akil Thomas is not happy about his playing minutes. Listen, your ice time, I can't help. I no, I could help you with that. But Thomas, I mean, we have a squad. I mean, look at that first line. I don't think you should be playing over them. And I mean, holy shit, we're 6-1. I mean, we're about to be 7-8-1 to start the season in the first nine games. All right, in the first time, I'm just going to sit in this Carolina game so I can say what our record is in the first 10. All right, replace player. And we are 9-1 in one in our first 10 games. Oh, Besser's got 17 points. Oh, shit. Oh, what we got here? Reichel with 15. Ovi has 12. Gauthier, 11. Michael Missa, 11 points. Akil Thomas, 8. Oh, shit, my batteries. Oh, no, I need my charger. Oh, shit. All right, we're good now. Uh, Casper's having a really good start through the year. Seven points. Kobe Barlow, six. Okay, how about goaltending? How are we looking here? That's my boy Vinny. Vinny. 
three and zero to start the season. Nine ten save percentage and two six six goals against. And how about Veggie? Veggie nine twenty two with a two fifty three. He did just get hurt, but he's six and one. I mean, goaltending, we're looking good. Defensively, we're looking pretty good. Vlasic already has five points. He's a plus seven. Rainer Holes is doing really well. How about our boy Began? Began's doing pretty solid. Here we go, boys. Still early here. We can completely shit the bed and have everything hit the shit hit the fan. It, it can get bad really quick. Goals four per game. We're definitely the best in the league, right? We got to be the best in the league. We, we got to be. There's just no way. Yeah, we're best in the league. A 440 goals for per game. And our goals against, we gotta be the best. Ottawa's actually goals against the best. How the hell are they at a 189 and 20th? That don't make sense. <laughs> that don't make sense, actually. That really do, does not make sense. Power play wise, we're 36%. Damn! Holy shit. Pelling kills at 92. Oh my. <laughs> Is this the greatest team ever assembled so far in 10 games? I mean, whew, the boys are cooking. All right, let's sim up this Boston game here on the 21st. Yeah, 21st. Another dub against the Hurricanes. Another, oh my. Oh, uh oh, okay. Now we're losing a little bit. Oh boy. All right. Okay, then we get a bounce back there against the Yotes. Don't worry. Skids happen. We'll sim up to the Coyotes game. Sim, we got a double header right here back to back. Uh, two nothing loss and a four two loss. All right, we're cooling down. We we might have played a little too good. We might have played a little too good. We might have peaked a little too soon. Uh, I think goaltending is really a problem right now. Yeah, Dustin Wolf. I think. I think one of the problems is he's playing a little too much. All right, how about my boy Vinny? Does he get us a dub right there? And then we don't. Two to one. All right, we're just not scoring. Yeah, we're not scoring now. You see, all right, two one here. We only scored two goals against the Panthers. Zero against the Bruins. Yeah, goaltending, uh, not goaltending, goal scoring is becoming a little bit of a problem. I mean, we started off hot. I think it was bound to like, come back down to earth a little bit. Uh, so what should we do to spice shit up? Ovi's cooled off. Missa's cooled off. Besser's cooled off. Okay, what, what can we do? Or do we just ride the wave? Reichel's got a point per game. I mean, I don't want to really mess with everything right yet. That is something I don't necessarily want to do. It's just mess with the lines just to mess with them. So Preakin's having six points. So we, I think we can drop him down and bring up Marco Casper. I think that could work. Yeah, that could work. Put Saprikin on the fourth line with Taze and Ben. Marco Casper goes up to the third. And then potentially we can do... No, Besser, I think, should play there. Uh, defense. I mean, defense is not really the problem right now. I mean, this. I think this line can move around a bit. Um, we can do... Actually, I mean, that top parent is doing really good, so I don't want to mess with that. So we could do, I mean, Ian Mitchell's been pretty okay this season. But Began, I mean, he struggled a little. He's cooled off a little bit. Ah. Uh, fuck, I don't know. I would say put Began here and pair him up with, I guess, Ian Mitchell? I mean, I mean, you could put Jensen up there. I mean, he's going off in the HL. My, damn. I think we, why don't we bring up Nick Jensen? Bring him up. Uh, but then who do we drop? Oh, uh, we don't have to drop anyone. Okay, okay, we don't have to drop anyone. Bring Jensen up. All right. Yeah, cause uh, Veggie's hurt, so we don't have to really drop anybody. And just head coach for how's Tolfson doing? He's doing pretty good. Okay, little Gunler. He's he's been down there for a while. All right, we just take out Mitchell and we plug in Jensen. How does this work? Um, I think this works. We try Holst, Jensen, McCullough, and Began. I think we try that. Even though defensively it's not really been a problem. We, we need to really focus on the goal scoring aspect. Uh, I mean, I would still say put... We've cooled off a lot. Let's do... Let's do 
Ov Reichel Gauthier on the second. Missa Thomas Besser. Let's just, let's just rock with this for a moment for a couple games, and see what happens. Let's just see what happens here. Do we? All right, we're six three dub. All right, we get the goal scoring a little bit there. May right, we score a little bit? Uh, three one L. Okay, so let's sim to the my sim to this Washington game and really get an idea of what's going on. All right, four three OTL. Actually, sim to this Montreal game. See how we do at Washington. All right, six to four. Okay, so it looks like defensively and goaltending, we need Veggie to come back. That definitely seems the case. That Veggie needs to come back. Brock Besser is an absolute beauty ever since he's gotten here in Chicago. Uh, I mean, Ovi, I mean, he's scoring. That's good to see. How's Akil Thomas doing? He's got 19 points. Okay. Missa, he's got a point per game right now. And Besser's doing Besser Tings right now. Uh, how's Jensen doing? He's got a minus two. So I think we mess with that a little bit. Maybe we do. Ooh, we can't be doing that. All right. Uh, why don't we do. Vlasic, McCola, Hulse, Lindgren, Begin, Jensen. Let's try it. I'm just curious. Is that is that gonna make us worse? Who knows? I haven't scouted yet. Two to one dub. So actually, the goal we didn't really get any goal scoring going on there. But it was a good defensive game. All right, I just want to sim to this Calgary game. Sim to this Calgary game and just want to look at some of the team stats. Four three shootout L shootout. Well, holy shit, ten to four loss. All right. Gonna have to switch shit up here. I'm just throwing some random line combos together. Just trying to figure out what's working, what's not. Uh, okay. I mean, Thomas is playing really good on that first line. Ovi's doing pretty good right now. Uh, Alright. We gotta put Vlasic back there at Lindgren. I think we gotta rock with... Bacon and Hulse. Jensen's gotta come out. I think Ian Mitchell's gonna have to play. Or Clef Bomb. Why don't we put Clef Bomb in? Yeah, why don't we do that? And we have... Ooh, here we go. Rainer Hulse, Oscar Clef Bomb, Nicola, and Began. I completely forgot we had Oscar Clef Bomb. And... Gold Tending, I just want to see. Vinny... Yeah, Dustin Wolf's been a problem. Yeah, okay. So he should not be seeing the ice. Really. He really shouldn't be. 4-1 dub there, and... Just going to keep an eye on Dustin Wolf. We need to make sure he's not playing. <laughs> We're going to have to go individually, game by game, all the way up to the All-Star break, making sure that son of a bitch ain't going to be playing. You're not playing. Vinny's going to be playing. He's the starter right now. Uh, Against the Flyers, that's a 3-2 to two dub. All right, dub, 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 dub. Like I said, individually, game by game, we're going to have to switch the goaltenders to make sure that son of a bitch ain't going to be playing because he's been atrocious. I mean, a 345 goals against and an 888. Sheesh. No wonder why Calgary gave him up for that Dominic Cuba League trade. All right, Wolf. I'm gonna give Wolf a chance this Boston game. I'm gonna give him a shot. Three to one dub. All right, he he can redeem himself. He gets the Arizona game. How how's he do there? Five to three dub. All right, I still want Vinny to play this next game in Toronto, but we're winning again. We're winning it again. That's good to see. Very good to see. Um. Yeah, the goals against has gone down a little bit, and his save percentage has gone up. But Vinny's been really good this season, so I want Vinny to play. He's a rookie. He's our franchise goaltender. I just want him to play, and Veggie is back. Let's go. And we got to drop somebody. Uh, I don't want to drop. I'm going to drop Jensen. Yeah, we can just drop Jensen. He wasn't that good anyway. And we beat the Leafs 7-5, so Vinny didn't do too hot there. But, I mean, let's just stop the simming right here real quick. But at December 28th, I mean, we are cooking, boys. This is what I expected this season. This is what I wanted the team to be. Veggie is back. He was doing phenomenal for us. Vinny's been doing fantastic. The goaltending, hopefully Veggie doesn't just fold and be shit. But Akil Thomas, how many points has he got right now? A point per game. 33 points in 33 games. Michael Missa, 35 points. This is the guy I we wanted when we drafted him. This is the guy we expected to see out of him. In his third year, he's being that dog. He's He's got that dog in him. Brock Besser, I honestly, when we... When, go back a couple episodes. When we were debating on signing Travis Konechny and Brock Besser, I did not think we'd be getting this kind of play out of Brock Besser. I thought we'd be getting like a six, a 30 goal scorer and you know, maybe at most 65 points. Not, you know, 
73 points, 26 goals, 47 assists. I didn't think he was going to be a playmaker for us, but I mean, he was. I think playing with Ovi helps a lot when he did last season. But, like, you see by the trends in 22, 23, 24, 25, he's just right around, you know, 60 to 67 points per season. I, I didn't think we'd be getting a guy that's putting up 70 points and over a point per game. I didn't think we'd be getting that out of Brock Besser. And I was really debating about signing Travis Konechny over him. Boy, what a mistake that would have been. I just realized I had Alexander Ovechkin playing right wing. That feels illegal to me, to be honest. But he's got 20 goals, so I guess it's working. But he has 32 points. It's just so weird putting Alexander Ovechkin on the right wing. That that just seems illegal. I just realized that. I, I, I Yeah, no. Marco Casper is eh. Yeah, the third line's really cooled off. I think we need to spice this up a bit somehow uh i mean our bottom six has actually been trash i wouldn't say trash and eh, no nah, I, I would say trash is a safe assessment to use i mean it's not been great clef bomb's been great i should have played him to begin with <laughs> i should have played him to begin with mccola could be better begging struggling a bit okay um Bottom six needs a little bit of work. Maybe we can call up maybe some young players, but yet again, we have some young. Jamie Ben, I think, would be the first guy to bench, I would say, or Saprikin, maybe. Uh, yeah, I guess. All right, let's look at the team stats. How's our goals for right now? Because we were, yeah, we were at 440. Yeah, that's definitely cooled off. We're at 352. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Florida seems definitely have the most. We're second. Okay, goals against, yeah, ours is gone up a good amount power play is our power play still insanely good it is still insanely good almost 30 percent 29.2 percent how about the penalty kill 86 all right that's still pretty good could be a bit better but it's still pretty good but i mean the power play is just clicking why touch it why touch it uh points just want to check this real quick besser miss uh yep thomas Ovi. Uh, yeah Ovi's leading the team in goals and thomas and besser are tied so they're the only one over 10. They're the only guys over 10. Interesting. Alright. Can we somehow take Jamie? Who would be smart to take out or sub in for Jamie Bent? Who who would be smart? I, we could go tall. Callum Ritchie. I mean, we drafted him the second year. I mean, he still is not ready for the NHL yet. I mean, he's developing, but he's 20. He's still 21. So he's. I thought he would have been a little older. Man, I, I thought he was older, to be honest. But, alright. He still has probably like another year of development or so. We got Miles Sweeney. When did we draft? 2023. That was another 2023 pick. Damn. Tolofsson's definitely ready next year. Let him get a little more seasoning, I would say. Uh, who even is the goaltenders down here? Soderblom and Vorobev. We drafted him, I remember. Because I thought he was going to be the franchise goaltender until Vinny came around in that uh, the next year, I think it was. Was it the next year Vinny came around? I think it was 2024, that draft, when I saw Vinny. I'm like, yeah, we got to take him. 2024? 2024, ninth overall. When you see a goalie that high, you have to take him. He was a lead high. There was no way in hell I wasn't taking him. All right, let's go to view contracts. Yeah, I looked off... Uh, recording probably like a couple days. Oh God, when was the last time I filmed? It was a while ago. Like when I record these videos, I usually stack them together. So like if I record one, I'm recording another right after. So, so if some of the things. So if you guys comment sometimes, that video was probably recorded a week beforehand. It's like I'm on top of the game right now. That's all I'm saying. Like I probably have five videos in the storage ready to go. I mean, I'm grinding out here. Simple as that. <laughs> I'm not. I mean, I have a lot of videos stacked up right now. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot. All right. Yeah, when I'm filming this, football season hasn't even started yet. And by the time, this is probably a week after, probably close to week two, probably, Uh, when this goes up. All right, we got Gauthier. Yeah, and I looked. Gauthier wanted, like, almost $10 million. How much does he want? Eight mil Oh, he wants eight. Okay, that's not bad. Missa. Yeah, that, that's who it was. Missa wanted the $10 million. And I knew one of these guys won 10 million. All right, I'm just gonna try and finesse a little bit. Miss a 10.1 for four. How about that? You want to stay here? Let's work together. Kill Thomas's contracts up. How much is he gonna want? 9.4 per six. It's a lot of money. That's <laughs> a lot of money. Long term, but he's 26, so it makes sense. 
Th that does make sense. I'm going to try and weasel my way. Uh, 9 mil times 6. He's worth it. 9 times 6. Let's just do that. See where this gets us. Uh, let's just go back to sim in here. Uh, let's sim. I'm going to sim just a little bit here. Go to the Rangers game here. In January, 4-2 loss against the Wild. Kill Thomas re-signs. Let's go. So he's got $9 million per six years. That's a big gas contract. But, I mean, ever since he's gotten here, I mean, he's been awesome. I mean, he's been great. So he's worth it. I didn't think he'd be this goddamn good. But he's been phenomenal. When I also dr traded for him, I didn't think he'd just go up to an 85 overall. I was not expecting that at all. 3-2 dub against the star. 5 Ooh, 5 nothing win there. And, all right, we get a, a point out of that. Division-wise, I haven't even looked at divisions. I should probably definitely do that. We are currently sitting at 49. We are first in our division. We've got a couple games in hand over the Avalanche. And we have a good gap. The third, the Coyotes. Holy shit, they got their shit together. They got their shit together same time we did. Oh, we're crossing. We're going to be crossing paths here in this franchise mode, aren't we? Us and the Coyotes. They stole the first pick from us a couple of times in this. We got maybe. Do we have a rivalry with the Coyotes? I mean, they stole the first overall pick from us a couple of times. I think we have a rivalry with the Coyotes, and they're getting good at the same time we are. Well, I think we got a rivalry. Are we the best team in the league? Holy, okay, no, we're not. But the Panthers, are, who the hell do the Panthers and Sabres have? The Sabres are insane, too. They're getting good. Konechny went to the Ducks. Zekris is a 95. Sheesh. Uh, Sabres. They got Steven Stamkos, first line center. Jack Quinn. To Bruev. I remember we were gonna take him. We were looking at him uh, that one year. Archibald defensively. Owen oh, Powers at 90. Ooh, oh my damn. That 95 overall. Lukanen's a 90. My god, the guy that made this roster was on some heavy drugs. Just my lord. Alright, Florida. Florida, who they got? They got Huberdo and Barkoff is a 97. Oh my. Taylor Hall, they have as well. At age 35, is an 82 overall. Uh, defensively, they gotta be stout. I mean, not really. They're not that stout. And Spencer Knight, yeah. I mean, Spencer Knight's a dog. Him at a 90 makes sense. They have an 86 overall. Matt Guzda. I mean, I can see. I can see why they're really good. I can see that Edmonton. Yeah, I, I'm still. I can't believe. Connor McDavid, really? He he decided to stay in Edmonton. He got that cup and wanted to stay, but he could have got a cup here. But I guess it's working out for us, so... I, I guess it's working out. But also, another thing I realized... I don't think I mentioned this in the other recordings. Patty Kane's going to be a free agent next season as well. I looked at it. He, he has one year left. He has one year left. And if you guys are getting the feeling I'm getting... If he's not going to retire, I think we bring him home and get one last cup run out of him. That's what I'm thinking. Bring Patty Kane back home if he hits the market, which he probably will. Because usually players that age, if he don't retire, they usually just hit the market. If he's there, why not go get him? Why not? Bring him back home. I mean, we could use Patrick Kane. I mean, sheesh. We could use him, have him retire as a Blackhawk alongside with Taze. If Taze doesn't retire, Taze is regressing. I want Taze to get one more cup, bring Patty Kane, get the boys back together, get one last cup run. I mean, it's potentially possible. It would it would be very, very cool to see if Patrick Kane won a cup and then just retired. That would be pretty sick. That's That would be pretty cool. Uh, Alright, so what all should we be looking for here so we already spent like 19 million in cap space for next season on extensions and we still got a lot more money to spend i mean a lot more i mean goche is gonna want eight million right yeah eight million per four uh colby barlow he's gonna want a lot of money oh no he ain't 4.9 i mean i'll give him weasel my way out of this i'll give you 4.4.6 point, 4. per two uh reichel how much is he gonna want 6.4. That's a lot of money for Reichel. But, I mean, Reichel's been really good this year. Vlasic. How much money is he going to want? 5.3 for one year? Okay. Paul Yarby's contract. Like, literally, everyone's contract is literally up. And are we going to have enough cap space to keep everybody? 
that's a big question that is something we're gonna have to keep note on and dustin wolf's up i think we're gonna trade dustin wolf here very very shortly i mean we don't need him he's not what we expected him to be he's he hasn't he just hasn't been the player we expected him to be he has not been good ever since he, i mean he had one good year and that was about it and now we have our franchise goaltender and Vinny. it was supposed to be a Vinny and dustin wolf tandem but i mean he's been just been trash so I guess we're just gonna try and trade him if we can. Uh, we're gonna give Gauthier his uh, extension eight. We're just gonna give him eight mil exact per four, and stop ex and stop doing the extensions for now. Uh, I really shouldn't give a shit about. I mean, I pro no, I should give a shit about the prospects. But let's be real, the amount of prospects we got, I really don't care. But I'm gonna need to scout, so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna have to scout. I should probably do it right now. Definitely should probably do it right now. Let me go do that right quick. All right, now I'm done with the scouting. Um, was there anything else I wanted to hit upon? Hmm. Let me check the trade block. I think that'd be something to look at. Uh, let's see what we all got here. Anything? No. The Yotes, ooh, they have a lot of... What, what the hell are they doing? You're finally starting to do good, and you're just trying to trade away some of your best players? That makes no sense. The Bruins, we're looking for some bottom six players. That would... That's what we're... Like, a Nino Nita rider, I guess, would work, but... I mean, he's doing pretty good. Oh, wait, he's in the AHL. <laughs> no wonder why his stats are, like, pretty solid. I um, mean, damn, there's so many good goaltenders. A lot of really good goaltenders. Uh, there's Joe Valeno, but we don't need center. But we've been over that a lot. Jonathan Tavares on the Kings. <laughs> Ain't that some shit? Uh, have the Habs. They got Vince Dunn. Um, Brennan Gallagher. Caden Pre. They've been trying to trade Caden Primo for a long time. Dominic Kubalik. Did we bring him home? Have him Ooh, or Mason Marchment wouldn't be bad either, would he? Fourth line. He might not be a bad pickup, Mason Marchment. He might be a guy we can keep our eye on at the deadline. March I think Montreal's got a couple of guys we might want. But they are They might have a couple of guys we might want. Alright, keep an eye on Montreal for towards the trade deadline. Alright, uh let's see um does blues game right here for now we lose to the rangers colby barlow accepts his contract extension nathan gochier also accepts dub now i just want to know how much money are we gonna have afterwards we lose back to back right there and we holy eight to six win against the jets i mean that's, that's a lot of that's a, how the hell did the avalanche have six games more played than us no wonder why they have a five-point advantage over us. I mean, how do they have 48 games played and we only have 42? How the hell does that happen? <laughs> That's drastic difference. Uh, okay, we're 5-4-1 in our last 10. We're struggling a slight bit. It's just a little bit. Um, Goaltender-wise, Veggie 9-14. Vinny's at a 9-08. We'll have Veggie play this game. Vinny play the next. I want Vinny to play a little more because that's I've, I've noticed when we played best that's when we had Vinny playing just saying uh I just want to see how much cast space we're gonna have are we gonna be able to re resign most oh yeah we're gonna be able to Reichel wants 6.7 per four that's doable we also need to get Vlasic he wants three years per five I'm gonna try and get him on a five million dollar deal five times three I think that would be great and that would drop us down 20 um yeah we can afford everybody all right yeah uh marco casper give him on that one year all right just sim along a little bit more all right we get veggie in this game sim do we win we lose all right huh that's a 4-2 loss right there reichel i mean not reichel thomas is i would say he's cooled off a, a little bit i mean missa and besser are still playing at a very high level ovi how's he doing 41 points. Extremely high level. Uh, Could say you want to throw Reichel over there, but I don't know if that works, to be honest. Do we throw Ovi back on the first line? Try Thomas, Goche, Reichel? 
and try these lines again just for shits and giggles? I think so. Why not? Uh, maybe we can mess with the defensive parents maybe just a little bit. Um, I honestly, let's keep it as is. Just got to get Vinny to play probably a little. Uh, I don't know if that's really the, the problem. I just want to see. Just keep Simmons. Find out. Marco Casper agrees. Four to one loss. Alright, yeah, no, that's that's not that's not it. We're not scoring either. Um okay. Hmm. Does Ovi need to go back to the right wing? I mean that's a potential possibility. He might have to go back to the right wing. Why don't we put Jamie Ben on that line with Barlow and Paul Yarvi? Uh is this Sim past the Sabres game? Vlasic agrees to the contract extension. Alright. So our blue line's pretty good for the future here. All right, they want Vinny playing anyway. All right, I just want to see Vinny play. Uh, Vinny. Ooh, oh boy, this is, we're not scoring now at all. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. Uh oh. Are we folding? Are we folding? Oh boy. Um. Hmm. What what can we do to counteract this? I think we put up the wrong guy. Uh, we're gonna. I think we need to change something up here. We gotta change something up somehow, some way. Um, do we go after uh, one of the Montreal players now? I think we spice up the bottom six. I don't want to mess with Missa and Besser. I think we go get a player that can play bottom six because Jamie Ben's been dog shit for us. Uh, let's get a guy that can play bottom six. Let's make the move now. Why wait? Do it now. Uh, Cuba Leak, I mean, he has very little value. Mason Marchment, I mean, does have good stats. About Cuba Leak, he, I mean, he could play probably third line. He's played in Chicago before. Bring him back. We don't have to give up much. Just give up, what, next year's sixth and fifth? Probably a little too much to be honest. Give up the fifth. I think we might get him. No, okay. We got to give up something else. All right. Seventh round pick. Seventh and a fifth. Reject it. Okay. I'll give you this year's sixth. Take it or leave it. You're going to reject it. Okay. Um. I would say I'll give you Kershev. I mean, he's not really been playing. Maybe we should have Kershev play. Yeah, why don't we put Kurashev in the lineup first before we even make a move? Or we can make a move and still put Kurashev in the lineup. I kind of forgot about Kurashev, to be honest. Take Jamie Ben out, put Phil Kurashev in that goddamn lineup. Let's go. I completely forgot about that boy soul. I mean, he he was a dog for a while there. I mean, why don't we have Kurashev play for a little bit? And who else could then we take out for, in favor? I mean, Taze has been not good, but he's our captain, so... I mean, Saprikin hasn't been great either. He's a young player. He could probably use a little bit more development, I would say. And then we could go, what, for Cuba League? I, I could see. I just want to sim this game. How do we do? 4-3-L. Oh, shit. Yeah, just changing up the bottom six isn't going to do nothing. That's the thing. I, I don't know what to change. I mean, everything's just cooled off. We're not scoring. We're allowing a little bit too many goals. Do we try Reichel, Missa Besser, and Thomas Goche Ovi? Do we try that? I mean, Thomas is cool. I mean, yeah, why don't we try Reichel, Missa Besser, Ovi, Goche, Thomas? Uh, we need to change something up. Maybe take Saprikin out. Is our power play really. I mean, we're 2 7 and 1 in our last 10. Holy shit, that's abysmal. That, that is terrible. Alright, our power play is still really good, so... Alright, um... What what the fuck do we do? <laughs> I mean, do we go after a Cuba League, bring him in, have him plug in, play fourth line with Taze? And... Marco Casper? I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe take Barlow off that line? That's a possibility too. Maybe take Barlow or pull RV out. I think that's a possibility that we can do. Uh, let's just keep looking along because I just stopped at Montreal because I saw Cuba Leak. It was a decent sim for the most part. 
Uh, Tim Stutzla. He really. I mean, if he didn't. Would have been a good move if he didn't have uh, zero years on his deal and I wouldn't be able to sign him. Robbie Fabry, Ricardo Kell. A little bit too much value that I have to give up. Tuck, O'Reilly, Dvorak. Yeah, there's way too much value I'd have to give up there. Way too much. Um, Vegas. I think we need to switch up the defensive lines. I think we need to make it change that bottom six. So let's bring back Dominic Kubelik. Why not? Or do we... Br Marchment or Kubelik? Which one? Uh... I have no idea. To be honest, I don't know. Let's just trade a fifth, a seventh, and a sixth. Probably a little too much, honestly. Probably, but I don't care. We rejected. They're not taking it. Okay. Uh, if you want a fourth, I'm willing to give up a fourth. Next year's. Well, not next year's. A couple years. Oh, wait. You have to give up more than that. Just that fourth. Okay. Uh, I give up a fourth round pick a lot for the most part. Uh, let's just take a player that's already... Who probably won't even really see the NHL. Probably like Sal Rowe. He probably won't see the NHL. Alright, so... We could trade Dustin Wolf. I just... That is true. Do they need goaltenders? I doubt it because they're trying to trade, uh, what do you, what's his name? Primu. I mean, no, they really don't need goalie, but we can trade Dustin Wolf elsewhere, though. He has good value. Keep an eye on that. Uh, we also need another defenseman. Do we? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's just get Cuba Leak, put him in the fourth line, see what happens. Uh, this. Get up the fucking fourth round pick. Who gives a shit? Not even gonna turn out the much anyway. Rejected. Fuck you. Uh, who did I give up? That was that prospect, bro. Just fucking get rid of him. He's not gonna play. Get rid of him. We're giving up a little too much though. I want a fifth in return. Or a sixth. Give me a sixth. We got a deal. Alright. Boom. I don't want to necessarily drop him. Because. Not drop. Uh, drop Dustin Wolf. Because that will, uh, what do you call? He will hit waivers, and we'd get fucked over that. By that, I should say. Uh, defense. Did they just drop Rainer Holes? Them sons of bitches just dropped Rainer Holes on me? Nah. Ain't no way. They did. Oh, you. Jonathan, uh, JB Bank can get dropped. Fuck that dude. Uh. Alright. This is a long video. Shit. Shit. This is long as hell. Alright. Substitute all lines. Because that's where he was. Alright. That line pairing is not working. We got to spice some shit up here. Uh, defensively. I mean, the D line. The pairing for the defense is just not working. I mean, Begin's not been playing that good either. That's the thing. Do we drop him down? I mean, he's not been good. I mean, he's not been good. Do we put in Ian Mitchell? I, Mitchell wasn't that bad. So we can do Clef. Mm -hmm. What can you do? You can't do much. You gotta stick with Clef Bomb and Holst. And Mitchell and McCola. Because Begin's been really bad. We're just gonna keep him on the sidelines for now. And I want Saprikin out for Cuba Leak. Uh, Alright, let's just, just try this for now. He's line parent. I, I don't know what to do, to be honest. I really don't know what to do. And we lose again. Jeez. Oh, no. This is not good, boys. Oh. And we're right at the all-star break now. So, it's in passes Blues game. And we're going to have to call it a video there. And they fired their coach. All right, we bounced back with a dub. But we, we got to figure some shit out. <laughs> That's all I can say. We got some shit to do. Some shit to figure out. Yeah, we, we got we got to worry. We, I'm worrying a little bit. We finally win, but it's a two to one win. We're not scoring. I mean, we had a four to three loss, but yet again we lost. As this pairing even worked, I mean, it's 
kind of worked. I was Ovi doing with Thomas and Go. I mean, he's doing Ovi things. Goche's playing really good. I mean, the top six is playing good. I think it's just the bottom six. Honestly, yeah, it's probably just the bottom six. And I'm worrying about the top six too much. That's definitely what it is. And Kershev has been very good since he's got Braun back up. So that's a good thing to see. And Cuba League hasn't been great in his two games so far. So that's a sight to keep an eye on. Uh, keep an eye on Cuba League maybe being a fraud. Uh, Clef Bomb and Hulse have gotten better in this past couple of games. Goaltending wise, have they cooling off? Vinny's cooled off. Okay, so we gotta keep an eye out for that because Vinny's cooled off. Uh, Lindgren and Vlasic have been very good together, so that's a good sight to see. But we got shit to worry about. So in the next episode, I'm gonna have to figure out something or some sort of way to really counteract the skid and really get the shit going and really get you know make sure we don't lose as bad as we did for a while there and playoff wise i mean we still have i mean the avalanche have a 10 point gap on us but i mean we have a game in hand over the yotes the stars the predators even though we're right in the thick of the playoff race it is a close one i mean it's tied for second it's a three-way tie and then the predators are two points back i mean and then the canucks are right there for the last playoff spot for the wild card so i mean you gotta keep an eye out for that we we can't be playing like how we just did we cannot be doing that so we gotta figure that out next episode and we just gotta make playoffs we must make the playoffs no matter what, we have to make the playoffs. We have a, the roster to do it. We have it. Let's fucking do it. Let's make the fucking playoffs. We can do it. Let's go. i like to thank guys for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys in for the next one.